Story Church family, I have some incredible news to share with you today. If you've been a part of the story for a while, you know how much adversity and uncertainty we've overcome together. In 2021, we left the Methodist Church and relocated temporarily to the Museum District. It has been a battle, but by the grace of God, our church has emerged from the struggle stronger than ever. With our lease set to expire in 2023, we've been praying and searching since May for a more permanent home for our church. And thanks to what I can only describe as a miracle, God has come through yet again. I'm so excited to report that we have found a true home for the story. Soon after closing, we basically started the race to complete the renovation of the gym and we completed the renovations by November of 2023. I think after all of our moves, we were so excited to finally make it to the gym. It was a moment of pure joy to be in a place where we knew it was our permanent home. Our sanctuary is over 70 years old and we had to prepare the entire room. It's a beautiful Gothic style building and I wanted to preserve the authenticity of the place with the stained glass windows I wanted to make sure that we also had the technology that we needed to worship together. It took months. Grand opening day was just a very emotional day. To me, it felt like the Lord was just hugging us and letting us know that He was with us all along the way. And it was just such a moving experience for me. I seldom can talk without crying about the grand opening because I know that that day was just a blessed day for our community and um, the start of something really powerful that will last for many generations to come. It's a great opening. How are we feeling? Can we pray? When we bought this building, we also purchased the Bethany Christian School, and it has been such a blessing to have a school in this building. We welcome children every single day of the week. We do chapel with them, and we are working together to raise a new generation of children who love the Lord. I remember when I started the story four and a half years ago, we had one black box where all of our groups met. And now we have these, this beautiful campus here where we have groups meeting every day of the week, just going deeper in God's word, which has been so special. I believe right now we have around 650 people in discipleship groups of some kind. And some of these groups are four or five, six guys who gather at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning to dive into God's word. And then other groups are much larger, like Young Life, where we have 100 kids from Lamar High School come into our gym every Monday night to play dodgeball and uh, hear about Jesus. And at that same time on Monday nights, we have 31 couples meeting for re-engage in the room right next door, where they're diving deeper into their relationship with one another and their relationship with the Lord. And that's just scratching the surface of our groups and seeing the ripple effects of those groups where fathers are becoming better leaders of their home and kids are becoming true disciples of Jesus. And to think about the generational impact that can make, it really blows my mind. And that's a special thing to be a part of. There isn't a week that goes by when we don't hear from somebody who tells us how much this church has meant to them, how their lives were changed. I truly believe that God has blessed us so much because we're fully committed to inspiring others to follow Jesus. Our staff is committed to that mission. Our volunteers are committed to the mission. Our teams are committed to that vision. And I know that this is a place where people can come and, and be loved genuinely by, by others. And I, um, I know that if we continue to do that, the possibilities are just endless. Mm -hmm.